Hi everybody. I think it's safe to say that we all love an easy, quick and delicious one pan meal. Now this ground beef and rice dish takes me way back to my childhood. It's something that my mama prepared often. The cheesy part is all my idea, but who doesn't love cheese? Now I'm gonna be using this cast iron skillet and I've got my heat set at about medium or just a little lower. I'm gonna add one pound of 80-20 ground beef. Now you can use lean ground beef, but I like the 80-20 because of the flavor, see? Now I'm gonna be moving it around just until it loses all its pink color. I will be draining it later. Now while I'm browning my ground beef, I'm gonna prepare my broth. I'm gonna be using beef broth, and I'm gonna be using Nor beef flavor bouillon. Now you can use any kind of beef broth that you like, but I like the flavor of the beef bouillon. Now I'm gonna pour in two and a half cups of hot water because I wanna give it enough time for it to dissolve really well. That's two and a half cups right there. And I'm gonna add two and a half teaspoons of the beef bouillon. There's one, two, and a half. Now I'm gonna stir it really good like this, and that's it. I'm gonna set it aside until I'm ready to use it. I'm gonna continue browning my ground beef until it loses all the pink color, and then I'm gonna drain it. Very easy. Now, as you can see, my ground beef is nice and brown. I have removed all the excess grease, but I left just a little bit in here, about a tablespoon and a half, because I'm gonna knead it. So I'm gonna move everything over to the side, like this, and I'm gonna add my rice. I have one cup of jasmine rice. And I rinsed it really well because I wanna remove that excess starch. And along with my rice, I'm gonna add my onions. I have one cup of diced onions. And I'm gonna be moving the rice and the onions around like this right here on the side for about two and a half minutes or so. Now you don't have to get the rice really brown. You just wanna get rid of that really white color, see? And you want the onions to release their flavor. Just like this. Ooh, I just love the way the onions smell when they're sizzling in a skillet. And there's something about the rice. Once it starts to brown a little bit, it starts to smell a little nutty, really delicious. So it's been about two and a half minutes. Now I'm gonna add my garlic. I have two large garlic cloves, finely minced, and I'm gonna put them in here just for about one minute. I want them to release their flavor really nicely in with the hot onions and the rice. Ooh, and they smell delicious already. Now I'm gonna add my bell peppers. I'm gonna be using one cup of orange bell pepper. I'm gonna put them in here. And I have two large Roma tomatoes, and I'm gonna add them in here too. Now I'm gonna mix all this together. Beautiful. And that's perfect. Now it's time for the seasoning. I'm gonna be adding one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. This is gonna take it up one big notch. And I have one teaspoon of paprika. And I have half a teaspoon of cumin. This is ground cumin. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And my salt. Now you can use as much salt as you want. Now I'm gonna add my beef broth. This is two and a half cups of beef broth. So everything has come in together really nicely. The paprika gives it a beautiful color and flavor. So now I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it cook like this for 15 to 18 minutes. Now it depends on your stove. You wanna make sure that all the liquid is gone and I won't remove the lid. So I'll see you in a little bit. So it's been 14 minutes and my rice and my ground beef is ready. Now I'm ready for the last step. Look at this, just beautiful. Now I'm gonna add some cilantro. I just love the cilantro up here, see? Now you can use chopped parsley if you'd rather do that. Now I'm gonna add my cheese. I'm gonna be using two and a half cups of freshly grated Colby Jack cheese but you can use any kind of cheese that you like. I just love the flavor of the Colby Jack. 
and that's good. It's topped beautifully. Now I've got my oven set at 400 degrees. I'm gonna put my skillet into the oven right on the middle rack, just for about five minutes or until all the cheese is melted without a lid. So I'll see you in a little bit. So it's been five minutes and the cheese is beautifully melted. Come take a look, it's time to serve. Now I'm gonna be serving this with some corn tortillas that I made earlier. Look at these, mmm. Now this is how we like to eat it. Look at this. And I like to put some avocado right on top like this. And look at this taco. It's very hot, it's super delicious. Now it's time for the taste test. The rice and the cheese and the ground beef seasoned beautifully. And then with the avocado and the homemade corn tortillas, mmm. Mm. And now some of my punch limeade, mmm. What can I say? This is heavenly delicious and super easy. I know you're gonna love it. So this is my cheesy ground beef and rice dish all in one pan. If you like my recipe, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.